Hi everybody, welcome back to I'm Yarn Cook and I'm going to have a break zone. <laughs> So you may be wondering, Yayan, what's up? What could possibly be that much of a problem? Um, Harry Styles is in... <laughs> Let's work it out, shall we? Harry Styles is in... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six days. But bear in mind that this is midnight. So, like, essentially five. Five days until I see Harry Styles and... <laughs> I don't have an outfit. I don't have an outfit. I I don't have an outfit. There's no there's no outfit to be spoken of. So needless to say, I'm not doing well. I'm not feeling safe, not feeling good, not feeling pure, not feeling happy, not really feeling alive. Um, I have not not tried to have an outfit. Let me tell you now. So I ordered one thing from one place, ordered one thing from another. I then ordered one thing from the same place as the first place didn't work. I ordered that. Well, I then ordered one thing from the second place didn't work. And also, when I say one thing, these are like four items of clothing at a time. So think of how much money I spent. <laughs> Nothing in my life is going well. But I say all of that. I am actually really on this positivity streak. I'm not going to delve too much into it, but. You know, I say all of that, actually I am really grateful for everything that's happening in my life at the moment. I'm really trying to practice gratefulness meditation, and I'm really trying to bring that into my life. I've also, for the past like week and a half now, just been really trying to focus on positive energy, positive vibes, really raising my vibrations to attract success, love, and luck into my life. So really, I am actually really on a positive vibe at the moment. It's just really not, not brought any luck like, into my life in regards to fashion in regards to Harry Styles fashion in particular, because every single person who is dressing up for Harry Styles is looking good, looking top dollar, looking perfect, looking amazing, and that's not me. I'm literally about to well up. I just, I feel very stressed. Let me show you what kind of level I'm at. Well, I also thought, you know, I have that beautiful House of Sunny cardigan with the cowboy on the back, that's kind of on the vibe. I've got these lovely, like, purple flared joggers that I could put those together, you know, I could do a little purple outfit. I even bought this little cap to go with it so that I would have this purple outfit and it looked good but it was also just like this is not the vibe I think it was the joggers the joggers just made it all look too casual especially when people are going in like fucking corsets I can't be turning up in joggers when people are in a corset next to me like people are British and they're in up and meanwhile I'm streetwear and Harry Styles is in streetwear and it looked like streetwear it looked good but it looked like streetwear I've had to change to drastic measures to simply purchase a pair of trousers for Harry Styles this is where we're at but I'm going to try this on tomorrow. Maybe I'll bring you along for the try-on haul if I don't look fucking disgustingly ugly. And we'll go from there. This is probably the most chaotic opening to a video that you've ever seen. That you've ever experienced. I don't even know if I'm going to film the whole thing. <laughs> okay, so the main majority. Well, everything now is here. And I'm scared. Okay, so first up, we're going to unbox. I bought two pairs of sunglasses. We're going to see which ones look better. But let me show you the main Let me show you the main thing, okay? So I'm not going to put it on here right now. I probably will put it on in literally two minutes. Um, this is the top. It's like kind of cropped. You'll see it when it's on. Then these, these, these are like flared trousers with this cute little belt. And then for shoes, I'm going to wear my naked wolves, which do make me like six foot seven. Why am I really new? Because I'm really out of breath. Okay. Okay. Why does this mean so much to me? Like why? <laughs> I literally was like, why are we all dressing up? I hate it. It means it's a fashion show. And then I'm like, okay. But how am I going to be able to look my best, you know? Right. Let's have a look. Oh, these are cute. Okay. Got these. Oh, I like these. Oh, ooh, I kind of feel like Elle Woods. Okay. And then... Then these next ones, from what I remember, are pretty Y2K slay. Of course, we're not going to be able to decide which ones we're going to wear until until we have the whole outfit on. Okay, they've got this cute little, like, heart there. Isn't that adorable? My gilly gosh, right. What are these? Ooh, well, I quite like them. They're quite a different style for me. They're quite... They're quite... Ooh. They are very white, okay, so, okay, I feel like we're just gonna have to put the whole outfit on, aren't we? 
Okay, so I don't know how much you can see, but this is the full full thing. I am low-key considering wearing it open, which is a bit crazy for me, which is a bit risky. There's a lot of belly here. Well, I kind of like it, but if not, it is still super cute, done up, you know, sat on top. Just you can see the belt buckle a little bit. Yeah, adorable. Now, what I did buy, what I did buy girls, which is a bit crazy of me, is this little belly chain. And I kind of think, like, if it's open, it could be super cute. So let's have a look. I don't know if I love it or if it's just doing absolutely nothing. Do you know what I mean? No, I do like it. I do like just that little, that little bit of peel, that little bit of, ooh, tease, tease. <laughs> then it's whether we go for these or, ooh, I think these go better, but I low-key prefer the other ones. Let me go look up close in the mirror. I think it's these girls. I think <laughs> this is the outfit, ladies. I feel very white in face label, so, you know. That's me, innit? That's me. <sighs> what a day. What a day. We found it, girls. We found it. We did it. <laughs> this is what I'm going to need to look more of, I <laughs> Now, see, I'll need to dress up with some jewellery, some accessories, all that jazz. I might take a bum bag because Lord knows I'm going to need a doop doop doop. You know, I'm going to need to crack in my phone. I'm going to have a lot to carry. I think this is it. <laughs> I feel slightly overwhelmed and underwhelmed at the same time purely because this whole process of finding the outfit has been so insanely stressful. But also I'm like, well, it's done now, girls. And it's becoming very real that I'm about to see Harry Styles in concert. That, that ain't sitting right with me. Good morning. Oh, that's dusty. That's dusty. I am... In scientific terms, hanging out of my arsehole. Just, oh. It's not good. It's not looking good, bruv. It's not. The world is just not spinning in the correct manner. Do you know what I mean? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I need to pack for Harry Styles. And I'm leaving in two hours. I haven't packed. I've only just showered. My voice sounds like this. Then I have to drive for three hours. <laughs> oh, for a little fruit man. My Jesus fucking Christ. I'm I'm gonna need to pause it. I'm gonna need to come back to you when when I'm in a better mental and physical state. Fuck me. I had every full intention, I had every full intention of filming the packing process, okay? I can't speak right now. I can't speak, I'm... Oh, oh God. God. So I've packed all my toiletries, okay, that's done. I need to pack my fucking steamer. Because if I have a fucking crease in that Instagram photo, heads will roll, heads will roll. I think I am packed. Got this suitcase here. Got this, my laptop here, the book that is disturbing the fuck out of me. Got my bag, my little Billy Bear. Hello, Billy. Say hello, Billy. <laughs> I think I'm ready to go, but I am now an RV alien. That's, that, ain't, that ain't sitting right with me. I should not be on time. And some birds, I off the big smoke, fucking hell. I'm a bit nervous because, you know, my car never works properly. Um, but that is my own fault because. And I'm leaving car upkeep, you know. She's a tank in herself. Meryl can handle what she needs to handle. I always like to make sure that Billy Bear can see up out of the vehicle so that, you know, he's, he's coming along for the journey. Hi, Jasmine. Say hello. Hello. That dress is lovely. Thank you. Hiya, Bert. Hiya, Emily. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> Can you get anything in? Of Say course. hi, Chloe. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Guys, we're here, here, everyone. How do you feel, Jasmine? How did you feel about the drive? Cut that out. <laughs> Cut the cameras. Now we're just getting all our stuff out. This is Jasmine's teddy. I'm literally going to shit myself. And we're just going to go find the house. Oh, 
everyone. Uh, apartment tour, that's also doubling as us making sure we get all of our deposit back because we had a struggle team, basically. Um, I'm just going to report the incidents of the day so far. I'm going to do it all in one go, if that's okay. So we tried to get into the property and the man was like, um, babe, you're coming in and you ain't paid the deposit. And we were like, gooey. It's because booking.com says it's cash. It's a cash deposit. Um, and he was like, no, babe, you've got a bank transfer. So I went, stay on the phone and we'll do it. Then I had to go and get the keys from a random little lady in a shop. It was all a bit crazy, but we're in now. Here's the bathroom. It is a peng apartment, to be fair. What is this? Oh, this is to see the doorbell. It's like this is why I have like marks on this. Oh my goodness, hello. <laughs> a little gift. <laughs> okay guys, but then... I've done the doors. What is this bedroom? To be fair, this bed... The door? I can't work it. I don't want... Yeah, look at this. We'll have a look now. Let me finish my vlog. So that's the little tour, guys. Sorry that it wasn't as exciting as it should be. Pardon? So yeah, guys. That's that. Um... Is it locked yet? No, I literally can't do it. That's that. Um, <laughs> we're here, we're excited, we're ready to go. We're feeling super great, super fruity, super fresh. Okay guys, so <laughs> things aren't looking too great to say the least in the flat. Chloe, how would you say you're feeling about your <laughs> experience so far? Fantastic. Let's okay, take a look at Mike. what would be number one, I would say. Um, this Lovely, actually dirty tissue. Um, a drawer that has clearly been used for smoking. A form of narcotic that is illegal in the UK. Um, some used tissues right next to the bed. Wardrobe that is very obviously broken and does not open. Um, we've got a <laughs> full, full tub of mayonnaise. Um, We've got, what else do we have? A blood stain, um, a giant nut, a toy car. Oh, wait, let's head on into the bathroom. Um, we've also got various items of food left around, some opened packages of rolls. And then if we just head into the bathroom here, we do have a wet shower mat, used razors and toothbrushes. Then we go into the single bedroom. Bed looks lovely, yeah, um, great. How's this wardrobe doing? Oop, broken, 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 broken. Bag of rubbish, we got some cigarette butts outside the other front door as well. So really, oh, and what else? This lovely little dummy just up there. It's feeling really good, feeling really homing. I just feel like, this is a place where dreams could come true. I wish we could off. contact our- Kirsty, say hi. Hi. <laughs> I hated that. We're all just getting ready for bed. Um, is my face on screen, Kirsty? Yes. Okay, lovely. <laughs> we're all just getting ready for bed now. We've planned our day for tomorrow, but who knows if it's gonna go to prank because we're a bit crazy, we're wild. Are we girls? Are we young? I love romance. <laughs> it's Harry Day, it's Harry Day. Oh, no in the old smoke. Come on, let's see how everyone's feeling this morning. I would show you Emily, but she's in the bathroom naked. Kirsty, how are you feeling about the morning I'm so ahead? I'm excited. Jasmine, do you have anything to say? <laughs> Excuse me, Kirsty. Oh, <laughs> do you have anything to say about the morning ahead? <laughs> We've got Starbucks on the way. I keep thinking that the getting ready process is going to be like for the Oscars and there's going to, that there's going to be a professional MUA and hairdresser and that I won't have to do anything. But that is a complete lie and it will take me six hours. Um, we only have three. So <laughs> Emily chose to have a bath and the bath is broken. So we now have to physically bucket the water out of the bath into the sink in order for us to empty it. Um, this is gonna, what we're going to be using. This is going to be, and hopefully we'll get all of that into this. Oh, to be fair. <laughs> Fuck me, this place is a shithole! <laughs> Come and get a close-up shot. You can't go too fast. It's all about, it's all about technique or things like this. And this is only bucket number one. Why does the bath just not seem to be going down though? Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I've taken two whole buckets out. Does somebody want to try the plug? 
I would put this Casey, this is on you. Hold on, Casey, let me get you. another bucket in. Alright, is that a dead fly in the bath? Yeah, I think it came from the moth bucket. Right, let's get in here now. Oh, it's a bit dark in here. Yeah, it's dark. Let me tell you this, if there's anyone who I believe could do it, it would be Casey, because she is a bit of an engineer. We'll salad it. Don't right. mind me. Have you got a knife? Don't mind me. <laughs> Emily, I don't think they mind, they're just... <gasps> Emily, what are you doing? I'm so Why sorry. are you holding... It's not going good. <laughs> Fucking hell. Can you bring me the croissants? Any creams for it? <laughs> now I have to film my TikTok transition because, oh. Oh, hello, as if I don't post about being at Harry Styles, don't even really go. Did I? I don't think so. In a lovely cultured <laughs> European breakfast, you know, I'm just... I'm just so... I'm just so, so, you know what I mean? I'm so... <laughs> I know, Chloe. So the outfit's on, it's now time to take and I'm not just a mind of photos because, again, if I don't have a photo of this, what was the point? That's really the question. Do you know what I mean, Chloe? Okay, let's begin. <laughs> You don't need to see me being self-absorbed anymore. And this is Jasmine's like, Jasmine is photographing very well. Oh, this is actually a really cute photo. Okay, that's a good backdrop. That's good to know. You you look insane. How do you feel? I'm so excited. Yeah, lovely. Okay, the next outfit to be ready is Chloe. Chloe. What? <laughs> lovely. We're all ready. Everyone's ready to go. Just queuing for Mitch. Um, the Mitch queue actually isn't that long. Anyone want to say anything? Okay. Mitch actually isn't that long, which is surprising because I thought it'd be like hours. I thought it'd be hours. We all just did our pre show wheeze. Um, no toilet roll, no hand sanitizer. No toilet roll, no hand sanitizer. Don't think lovely. Oh, lovely. Yeah, I did you have any toilet roll or hand sanitizer? I had, well, I took some toilet roll with me. Hello. What'd you say? Come on, vibes alone. Just sorry. The search for food begins. You would not part the search for food. Hassle, hassle. Two, three, go. Go, Jean. I will say this, whilst the chicken goujons were delicious, they were not worth the mortgage that I had to put on my house. That was a full month run. Can you take a video of me, please? It's already in. Which way? My head. <laughs> I just feel so pretty. <laughs> Do you think I'm Mitski? Uh, 
play Queen's Clay. What did you think of Mitski? Sorry? What did you think of Mitski? I liked it. I liked it too. I actually would listen to more. It's a situation, I've seen this to Jasmine. The problem is with support acts is that you always get a song in the middle of the act that you love. You never know the name of. I would like a name and title track just displayed somewhere. Forget her, cause we dance all night. To the best song ever. I think it went, oh, oh, oh. I think it went, yeah, yeah. Take the real work. Deep breath. Deep breath. That's me, the love of my life, can't you hear this? Where is one expected to go from here? Where do you, how do you move through life in a way that feels safe and pure? Where you feel happy and joyful? Because you've seen the love of your life. Two loves of my life because fucking Niall Horan was there. I know, Chloe, but sometimes you've got to face the truth. Fucking Niall Horan was there. Neither of them slid into my DMs, neither of them slid into my heart. So. <laughs> We saw Niall Horan. No, we didn't. We didn't. Um, I cried in the car when I found out. <coughs> okay, I'm good. It's just, it's, just it, it's, it's been a wild ride, really. Well, seen. we're moving out. It's all packed up. <laughs> Everything's done. <laughs> I got a sexy photo now. Oh, Harold. Um, I'll give you a full deep breath now. I'll run out of my thoughts and feelings, but. I have no joy left in life. Um, I have. <laughs> I have no joy left in life. It is officially now 48 hours post being in the same room as not only Harry Styles, but, but as Niall Horan. And if you think, if you think that I could ever feel joy again, I really just don't know. I don't know where you could get that idea from. <laughs> The thing is, the thing is, the thing is, he was just so attractive and so talented. I think that's what's harmed me the most. I can overlook, I can come to terms 
with the fact that a man like that is real. If I'm being honest, I was that far away. That could be a hologram. I'm going to have to settle on the fact that that's a hologram. Otherwise, I may lose my goddamn fucking mind. The talent that exists not only within that man's bones, but within every single person who stood up on that stage as bones. It makes me sick to my stomach because what do I have to offer to the world? What do I, what do I bring to the table? I ain't got a sport. I can't sing hello. What am I going to do? You I can't sing. You saw that video? I just said to go, go. I can't dance? What? What? I mean, that good at science. <laughs> no, my suck is finished, so <laughs> I guess that's done. The thing is, the thing is, is that it was just such an enjoyable experience, even though the accommodation was, in scientific terms, a rat shithole. I just love being with my friends and partying with my girls and seeing Harry and <laughs> I can't even talk about it too much because I will get emotional. But to any singular person out there who saw me at Harry Styles and who came over to say hi, who waved at me, who blew me a kiss, who had a photo with me. I don't want to get too deep. I'm going to try and not get too deep here. You don't know how much that meant to me because I've been in a been in a very negative headspace ATM. Without getting too deep, without delving into too many details, I've not been top dollar. And that shit warmed my heart and made me realise a lot of things and gave me a lot of hope and a lot of love and a lot of joy. So I want you to know that even if you just whispered, is that the guy from TikTok? As I walked past, you mean... You mean a great, a great, great deal to me. And you made me, you made me feel like, ugh, you just, you just made me euphoria. Euphoria, okay? It was just glorious. I mean, other than the fact that Daydreaming was missed out on the set list. And I'm going to assume that Harry says that was, that that was a specific idea on your part. So that I wouldn't get too crazy. So that I wouldn't lose it. So that I wouldn't shoot up into the air and shoot sparks out of my ass. I don't know. I'm assuming it was done for a pre-calculated reason, for a premeditated reason, because if it was done for no reason at all, then shame on you, young man. Shame on you. Because you have... I can't even. I can't even. And, Harry, let's talk about it. You ever had a boyfriend? No, I haven't. The fact that you went up on stage and asked the crowd, has anybody here ever had a boyfriend? Has anybody here ever wanted a boyfriend? No and yes. No and yes. And you knew that. You knew. You knew. He knew. I'm going to be honest, I was very lucky with my whole experience. I didn't have an amazing spot, but I didn't have a bad spot. I do feel very sorry, as I am super tall. I am super tall, and a lot of people don't realise that. And there were so many people behind me. But I also had to thank girls at the end of the day. It's a dog eat dog world, and I want to see Harry Styles. I do feel... I purposefully stayed as far back as I could. Let me tell you that now. And you can ask my girls. You can ask people around me. I tried to get as far back as I could. But also, at the end of the day, I'm only human. And Harry Styles is on stage singing Watermelon Sugar High. Singing Watermelon Sugar High, okay? So, let's take in some perspective, let's take in some context. But overall, top 10, top 10 experience, top 20 experience. The outfit pulled off, the concert pulled off, everything was good. And I think that's what makes it more upsetting now. Because now I'm, I look like this. I don't look like I did then. I look like a shell of that. I look like a greased up, bald shell of that. And there's no joy in that. If you have stayed along for this length of video, then I can't help but thank you and wish you all the best. If you are going to see Harry Styles, please take me with you. Please. 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 Please, please like my Instagram post. Um, I'm going to go lie in this bed right here and stare up at the ceiling and think <laughs> why